The flood offered them an unprecedented opportunity to study the process of landsliding and the potentially devastating debris flows that result. Now, debris flows are essentially channelized mass movements. They're where a landslide gets into the channel and becomes this churning mass of mud and debris and wood and rocks and water and charges down slope at speeds of 20 or 30 miles per hour. Grant and Swanson go to investigate the origins of the debris flow that raced down the tributary channel designated as Watershed 3 on the Andrews Forest. So here's a little innocuous ephemeral channel. Water came down, kept going across the road tread. Some of it spilled over this side and created a gully ran down, looks like it created a small slide. It looks like some of it continued on down, would have spread out somewhere in here. And this water then flowed over to the bank here and flowed into the fill slope. And on February 6th, uh, probably contributed to the occurrence of this very large slide of perhaps several thousand cubic yards, which broke loose here slopped up on the opposite valley wall and ran down the channel as a debris flow for about a half a mile and then ultimately spilled over the road, depositing sediment and woody debris into the main stem of Lookout Creek. This landscape could be characterized as decades of boredom punctuated by hours of chaos. And these storms are the hours during which much of the work much of, the, of the, 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 the physical work of the landscape is performed. So the features that we see out here, the bars, the sediment, the very shape of the channel, the position of the logs along the bank, all of these owe their origin to that 12 or 24 hour window during which these channels are in full flood. 